Hello everyone. Welcome back to Getting There with Pat F. I got my little boy Christopher. I think he's been watching a little bit too much of Buck and Billy Ray Smith. Because last night when I came home from work, he had apparently built a little contraption. Then this morning while I was asleep, he went out and did a little collecting. And this is what he collected. And this is how he did it. I made this. Christopher's little handyman special firewood collection wagon. It's got it. a tailgate that he's got that opens up and everything. <laughs> I have a feeling that I am going to have my hands full with this little man with building. What a way, what a day. But I have to admit, he did one heck of a little job on this. I took apart on one whole entire platform to make this. And we still one whole pallet. Some, yeah, and we still have some wood over there. Or crate of I one by three. And a whole bunch of screws that he had pulled out of that pallet. To go ahead and build this. Good. I'm gonna go show you guys this. It looks like I am gonna definitely have my hands full. Oh, there's a gold. 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 I did that on purpose. <laughs> so, Chris, tell me, what all did you use to put this thing together? Uh, so I used a screw gun. Uh, okay. And then I had a bunch of screws in wood. I even had a bit so of punky wood. So everything you did out of this was reclaimed materials. Yes. Including the wagon, the uh, basic yes. chassis. Yes. Okay. You used the circular saw. Yes, I used the circular saw. You used the screw gun. And the screwdriver. A screwdriver. A long screwdriver. Oh. Use this. Yeah, I used a square. That was my um, old toy square from oh. Christmas this year. And I, I actually used it to make something. Well, as long as you keep building like that, I don't think we're ever gonna have a problem. And it's nice to know that you can think on your own. And I have to admit, for reclaimed material, a little bit of dedication, my boy came straight ahead. And he even has it hooked to the bicycle. Come on, look, show them this. Show them how this thing hooks to the bicycle. So I use this circular saw because our other circular saw is broken. Okay. And uh, that's basically the only circular saw. All right, let's show them how this thing hooks to the bicycle. Now this was apparently, this was one of those old Schwinn bicycle trailers for holding a toddler where all the material had rotted out of it. So he used the whole base of that. And then I had a piece of plywood. Including the hook hitch. I had a piece of plywood under here, but um, I overlapped frame. it with um, a different wood because the wood under there is rotting. And this wood, it's actually rotting a bit too. Yeah, so it's all old punky wood, but look at that. This is an eight year old building. I'm impressed. I, I have slots <laughs> down here, but uh, I can't put anything in there. Cause it's gonna get wet anyway. <laughs> I am actually quite impressed. Now you really want to impress me, Chris. Take it for a ride, right around the backyard. I just gotta figure out how to back this thing out. Cause it is not going the way I have to. This ought to be comical, guys. Dad, his glasses are breaking. Probably gonna have to stand up on it in order to power, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's having a little bit of problems getting it going. <laughs> Go ahead, stand on it. I 
Okay, come right back up here. I don't think you popped the tire. No, I popped the tire on my Oh. That's because I wouldn't shake it all over the place. And then, I made this spear out of a piece of wood. All right. Good enough, buddy. I'm impressed. Hold on a second. Let's go ahead and upload this for Buck and Billy Ray.